Hello everyone. So I have the next contestant, Anamika Jha. Namaste. So Anamika, most of India's unemployment is educated unemployment. Do you think education is the only thing stopping people from breaking free of poverty? Uh, education is definitely most important thing. Uh, I believe everybody should have and it's our basic right to be entirely educated. So when I say educated, I do not just mean uh, graduating from school. I also mean having a bachelor's and a master's degree. But that is not just enough sometimes in a country, in a developing country like India. So along with education, what is also important is training people to be financially independent and tra training people with skills that could help them uh, develop a business of their own or some skill. So education is important but along with it also having a skill, very basic skill. It could be sewing, it could be uh, you know something as basic as being a gardener or a carpenter or basic typing skill that could help you uh, get employment as well. So yes education is important but then that's not the only thing that could you know solve the problem. So overall all-round development is what yes. you're aiming for. Yes. That's great. So as someone who has helped in raising resources for infants why do you think India's infant mortality rate still lags behind? The major reason behind it is, uh, as I mentioned earlier as well, is the financial condition of our country. A majority of our country, more than 40% for that matter, uh, falls uh, under below poverty line. They, they, are, they come from financially challenged backgrounds. So it is very difficult for them to take out money from their day-to-day -day activity and take care of infants as uh, you know, well as they should be taken care of. I come from a family of doctors and I've always seen uh, baby girls, baby boys being treated at the hospital and it always breaks my heart to think that you know, not every kid has access to it. Hence, I thought of you know, working with Nanipati Foundation. I've been working with the organization for over a year now and it basically helps uh, raise funds for uh, infants coming from financially challenged backgrounds. Your hard work is commendable, is honestly. Much. So, in your opinion, when does a girl become a woman? The day you realize your responsibilities in life, the day you realize that your life is not just for yourself, but there is a moral responsibility that you have to uplift people around you, to uplift young girls around you, to motivate them to, you know, chase for their dreams, that is when a girl becomes a woman. Great answer. So lastly, why do you deserve this beauty fashion title? Uh, I entered this competition because ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be Miss India and I believe that GSI would help me achieve that. Uh, the reason being, well, the heart wants what it wants. And uh, I believe I am one of those very few girls in this competition that do not come from it at the entertainment background. I come from the banking world. So I believe that I bring with me an experience uh, that every uh, human being in this country can connect with and not just the people from fashion industry and I believe that India can relate with me hence I believe I deserve to win. Lovely, so it was a great chat with you and best Likewise. of luck. Thank you so much. You're welcome.